What does a boss babe mean to you? And what would happen if you started showing up in your life as a boss babe? Hi, my name is Sarah Maria and I'm a business foundation consultant. I help women who value collaboration over competition and want to uplevel their network and their net worth. So I moved here in August of 2017 because I believe that God told me to move from Virginia to Phoenix and I sold everything but my car and my clothes and I came to Phoenix. And I was super excited because I was gonna be starting over and making new friends. And originally my background is in property management and so I had a job at the Section 8 office. However, when I first moved here, I did not know how different Arizona was gonna be from Virginia and it was like a twilight zone. And I didn't think that people were friendly and I felt like I didn't fit in anywhere. And I used to spend hours on the phone calling my best friend, crying, telling her that I should have moved to Charlotte instead of moving here to Phoenix. After my first couple months of being here, I went back home to Virginia in December of 2017. But when I got there, I didn't fit in there either. And so during one of my morning meditations, I was having a conversation with God and I was trying to figure out what exactly I should be doing. And he told me, I believe, that he had given me all the tools already and all I needed to do was to use what he gave me. So after that, when I came back to Phoenix, I had a different attitude. And so I was really intentional on the type of women that I wanted to find. I wanted to find women of purpose, women that were doing things in the community. So I started to go on social media and I stalk different women um, between Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. And I get in their DMs and I would tell them, you know, hey, can I invite you out to coffee? I'd love to know more about you and your business and what you do. And I started going to different networking events. I went to ones that were just primarily for women, but then also open networking events because I just wanted to meet as many people as possible. And then that was how I was able to grow like a really good network, just making, just meeting new people and seeing what they did and developing real relationships. My first mentor I met, um, I think at the beginning of 2018, and I heard her speak at an event and she was talking about how she came over to America with absolutely nothing and she was able to build an entire empire. And I remember my friend was with me and I looked at him and I was like, if she can do it, I can do it. And I feel like that was my first like aha moment of like how I became an entrepreneur. So um, my first mentor, I became a part of her community and then that's how I learned about valuing community over collaboration and then really understanding the types of problems women go through when building their business. So I always feel like we are better together and I can do things that other people can't do and other people can do things that I can't do, but if we come together, we're able to do more and get more things done. And I also value building real relationships. That's one thing I learned is that in order to get people to trust you, you have to have a relationship with them. So when I'd go to networking events, like I would try to learn more about people and then try to figure out if there was some way that I could serve them, not figuring out how they could serve me. So I'm really big on collaboration and building a connection and a community. So when I was working at the SBA processing small business loans, that's when I realized a lot of businesses did not even have the foundation set up correctly. I took all of that information and my love of helping women and I created my business, which is Business Babe Basics. So what I do is help women with the foundation of setting up their business. Everything from getting your EIN number and your bank account set up all the way to social media and helping you with your back end. I was inspired by what Mother Teresa once said, I can do things that you cannot do, you can do things that I cannot do, but together we can do great things. Again, my name is Sarah Maria. The world is waiting for what you have to offer. You don't have to have it all figured out. All you have to do is start.